today I'm reviewing the Mad Hippie Triple C Night Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the link below. Okay, so this product has been around for a while for Mad Hippie. It came to Ulta recently, a couple months ago. So I thought I would give it a go. So, okay. So Mad Hippie's Triple C Night Cream is a deeply hydrating treatment packed with three forms of vitamin C. I mentioned it the other day in my vitamin C video. Potent antioxidants as well as adaptogens. With 19 cutting edge actives, this synergistic formula brings dramatically brighter, healthier, smoothing looking skin in just one jar. And I guess to get to my first criteria, it's just packaging. They gave you a cute little bamboo spoon, which is adorable. It's not the most functional thing to scoop the product out with, I will say, but I guess bamboo has natural microbial, antimicrobial properties. So uh, the jar I'm not thrilled about, uh, but it does have a unique gelatinous type texture. So I'm not exactly certain if they could have repackaged this in something else because the texture of it, we'll get to that in a minute, is just unique. So, um, yeah, so the vitamin C derivatives they chose are rather stable, so they're not super prone to degrading with exposure to light and air. So overall, it's okay packaging. So in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It does contain polyvinyl alcohol, which is neither good nor bad. It's kind of a film-forming alcohol, so no issues with that. It probably would have been a little bit better without it, but maybe that's what helps give it that gelatinous texture. The fragrance of this, to me, is the major downfall. So it's got a few ingredients. Uh, we've got sweet orange oil, uh, which combined with the other ingredients give this kind of a naturally like lilac-y herbal floral scent. It does dissipate mostly quickly. I would say 20 to 30 minutes and it dissipates. Uh, my trick is for products I like that have fragrance in them, because there's a few, if I layer it in my routine and put something over it, that tends to help the fragrance go away faster. It might not work for everybody, and it doesn't help with the issue of your skin being sensitized to it. But for me, there's some fragrances that don't bother my skin as much as they bother my nose and my head, actually. So sometimes that helps. Uh, I've read reviews of others where they said the fragrance of this one was so overwhelming they couldn't use it more than once, and I get that. For me, this was moderately scented, not as heavy as other things I've tried, but everyone is, knows is different, so it just depends on how sensitive your skin is. So I think the fact that they also have turmeric in here, that kind of gives things a little bit of an herbal scent too, so not excited about that. I think that's the my biggest disappointment with this. If this had no scent in it, I would love this all the day long, so. Okay, the manufacturing location for this one is the U.S., so no issues at all with that. Should I do a quick pH test of this one? I don't know. I might as well, all right? I've only got a couple strips left, so. Okay, let me see if I can grab one of those. Okay, so let me use the little bamboo spoon to scoop it out. And I always leave a little plastic thing on there. There we go. Okay, I guess it's stuck to the lid. I guess I'll use a little bamboo scooper because it's cute. And since water is the first ingredient, I guess. Okay, so the pH of this one looks to be about five and a half. Okay, so uh, ease of use. So I recommend using this towards the end of your routine because it's got a very thick texture, more of like a balm texture. But uh, it smooths over skin pretty nicely and absorbs uh, pretty quickly. Although, if you have dry skin, it soaks in a little bit faster and it absorbs quicker. I could see myself being able to use this in the winter during the daytime, but in the summer, no way. But in the winter, when my skin is super dry, I think I could use it during the daytime. And there comes that orangey, lilac-y floral scent. Uh, but takes a little bit of effort to smooth in, but once it does, it's nice. So, and for the most part, it layers nicely with other products. Like I said, even though it's like supposed to be used toward the very end of your routine, I'll still apply something over it just to kind of help the scent be less noticeable. So very easy to use, no issues at all with that. Then we come to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got a long list for this one. 
Safflower seed oil, good antioxidant. Uh, tetrahexyl ascorbate, stable form of vitamin C that also is brightening and may also enhance other ingredients benefits. Then we've got the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, another stable form of vitamin C that's good for brightening your skin. Uh, Asorbyl glucoside, stable form of vitamin C that might work as an antioxidant. Then we've got chaga mushroom and reishi mushroom, which are adaptogen ingredients. And maybe I should do an ingredient spotlight on adaptogens because they're starting to show up more and more often. But uh, adaptogens are thought to enhance the body and skin's resistance to aggressors and also help prevent skin damage. They can also help brighten skin and reduce signs of irritation. Then we've got shea butter, good antioxidant, skin soothing hydrating ingredient, cloudberry fruit extract, antioxidant, rich source of anthocyanins, beta carotene, and vitamin E. Uh, also contain a numerous amount of antioxidants and trace materials as well as fatty acids which replenish and help to visibly repair compromised skin black currant seed oil good emollient squalane antioxidant sodium pca emollient uh then i've got sodium hyaluronate of course vitamin e turmeric uh chlorella which is an algae extract allantlin ceramide 3 and riboflavin so a very long list of beneficial ingredients which in my opinion would all be much better packaged in anything other than a jar but oh well okay in terms of animal testing this is cruelty free as well as vegan so no issues with that performance uh certainly hydrated my skin nicely overnight continual use left my skin feeling more and more hydrated with each use and I will say, no, it's a little bit of additional brightening of the skin. Uh, it absorbs nicely throughout the night. Might be a little bit too hydrating for daytime use, but for nighttime use, it's perfect. Uh, and it also kind of does a nice job kind of sealing in everything else you apply before it. Um, this does contain many acneogenic ingredients. So be very cautious about that, especially with the thick, balmy texture of it doesn't do that any favors for acne prone skin so we got safflower seed oil isopropyl palmitate acetyl alcohol glycerol stearate sterile alcohol steric acid and squalane so quite a few and some of those are fungal acne triggers as well then we get to the price and this is the full size which is two ounces 60 milliliters and it costs $33, which when I was first thinking, I'm like, 33 bucks is kind of a lot. But then compared to some other creams, it's not that much. But you think about, if you think of it as $16 an ounce, and the fact that a little goes a long way, it's not ridiculously expensive. But, and also if you shop at certain stores, Mad Hippie is on sale frequently. So it's also well worth watching for. Then we get to the It Factor and... It's a decent, nicely hydrating balm. Wish it didn't have the fragrance in it. Uh, it's probably ideal for dry, non-sensitive, non-acne prone skin. Which I don't know if that totally exists out there, but I'm sure there's somebody with that skin type. It's got lots of beneficial ingredients, three types of vitamin C and adaptogens, and uh, I like it. I could see myself regularly using this every day if it had no fragrance in it, but since that fragrance is an issue, just depends on how sensitive my nose is feeling at the time and how sensitive my skin is feeling but for the most part i really do enjoy this product so um i gave this out of 10 being perfect i gave it an eight a couple small changes that could make this a really awesome product for many tight skin types but there's still some problematic ingredients i guess that's how i'll put it so Anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this out and if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. I love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.